What's up guys, welcome back and today we're going to be working on Jeffrey's 86 again and you guys can see it is on jack stands but before I get to the issue um, I got this grill from like a older 80s Corolla and I tried to make it work but I mean it looks okay but you can see there's a lot of gap here and on this side and then if you look from up and if you look from up above it's kind of curved inwards like that so it doesn't really look that great but I kind of wanted to do like a Zinke style grill from afar it looks pretty good though but I don't think it's gonna work so I might just take it off there's really like nowhere to mount it either so you guys can see here let me so you guys can see here um, there's just no way to mount it because the tabs kind of go on this side I mean I could probably make a bracket or something but um, I think we're just gonna go with the other grill and maybe get a OEM Zinke later on but for now it's gonna run the kooky stuff I do want to get Zinke for the whole car so that it'll be period correct but I think getting kooky everything is actually more worth it or easier to get because it's cheaper and they still make it so I think uh, at the end it's gonna be better to just go full kooky for the headlight and I know A86 World he actually makes the eyelids now so you get the eyelids for the kooky ones which is just like a black trim that goes here it's about like 200 bucks but I think it's worth it because it's a part that you can't find anymore and uh, he's finally reproducing those so I remember talking to him a while back about that and he said that he was thinking about it but pretty cool that he's doing it now and then um, just gonna do that so yeah a lot of guys that run Zinke they just go with full cookie headlights just because it's so much easier to just because it's so much easier to get so um, might do that later on but the real issue today is that the clutch stopped working so that's the life of the Corolla right once you get something working uh, something else breaks and you're constantly working on the car it's constantly on jack stands but uh, I'll show you guys the problem here So when I press on the clutch, you hear like a squeaking noise and then I believe it's leaking fluid from here and you guys can see that it's a clutch fluid. So I think this slave cylinder is bad. So I'm going to try to replace it with a new one and see if that helps and see if that fixes the issue. Um, it's a pretty old slave cylinder. So I think that's the problem anyways, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to replace it and I'll show you guys where I'm getting the replacement from <laughs> okay so I guess it's kind of good that I have like a bunch of 86's that are just hanging around here so I'm gonna try to pull off the slave cylinder from right there it's pretty old I don't know the condition but it might be working still so I'm gonna pull off and then put on to Jeffrey's 86 and see if that fixes the issue uh, this one's a little bit rusty I don't know the condition but we're gonna go ahead and just send it and then see if it works so see you guys in a bit okay so I took it off already right here it was pretty easy because everything was accessible on the hatch and so so you can see here and it actually doesn't look too bad so it's pretty clean it was a little bit rusty on the surface but and I wiped it down and it still looks good the boot still nice and intact so let's go ahead and change it out and then see if that fixes the issue or if this is what's even broken but I'm gonna take out the other one and then just go ahead and replace it too and then we'll see if it works just took off the old one and you can see here I'm not sure what's going on but it was leaking fluid like crazy the boot seems to be okay I did find this however so it might be a seal internally that's bad uh, hopefully this one's okay I didn't open it but I don't want to just gotta run it like this and then we'll see if that works so it was pretty easy and hopefully bleeding it will be okay but just gonna go ahead and replace this and then hopefully the clutch is okay I know the clutch has been need to be changed but hopefully that and everything else is okay so I'm betting on just this being bad and then we'll see we'll see if that works so I'll see you guys in a second so I have some bad news I replaced the slave cylinder and I and I bled the clutch and everything but I don't think that's the issue so you can see right here look at that 
So either this came off or it's broken entirely. So I'm gonna have to do a clutch job, take out the trans and see what the problem is. But you can see here, shouldn't be sliding back and forth and I don't think it's working. So um, <coughs> so there you have it. It's not gonna be able to be fixed today and we're gonna have to do a clutch job, which was the plan anyways, but um, now we're gonna have to do it. Can't really move this car around. Yeah, so that's gonna be it for this car for now. There's not really much else I can do. So just gonna leave it like this. Uh, probably leave it on a jack stance just cause it's easier if I need to do something else to it for now, but. So yeah, that kind of sucks. We just finished this car and it's already out of commission like all the other 86s now. So hopefully we could get this thing fixed pretty soon. Uh, clutch job is a pretty big job. So that's gonna take a while. So this car is dead again. And uh, we have another dead 86 added to the list, but it's okay. We'll go ahead and just do the clutch job. Other, And then after that, I think it should run pretty reliably and really good. So. Uh, this motor is actually really healthy for its age and everything else. So um, I think once we do the clutch, it should be good to go and it'll last a, a long time. And then after that, we could focus on getting that rear diff swapped out because it's welded and that really sucks on daily driving and wears out your tires and stuff. Yeah, there you have it guys. Could be a pretty short video now that I couldn't get the car fixed. But I uh, hope you guys kind of enjoyed the updates on this car. It's getting really close to being like pretty much done. And a quick update on the garage. You guys can see a lot of things changed. The toolbox is out. The, the toolbox is out. The fridge is out. And going to be redoing the whole garage just to make it more of a showroom. Because uh, we do keep these cars in here permanently. And so... It's not really much of a garage that we fix cars in. I do stuff outside anyways, which is not bad unless it's like raining or something. But at least I'll have this side where I could always work on a car. And I'm going to have a big update soon. So uh, stay tuned for that, guys. It's really big news. And then um, that's going to be it. So thanks for watching. It's pretty short, but uh, see you guys next time. Later. Peace.